Hey guys, welcome back to EDC TV. Stay tuned, we have an incredible show ahead. Don't miss it. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, so this is her, him, it, whatever. Um, <clears throat> This is how I have my Maxpedition uh, FR1 medical combat pouch. I'm just going to say first aid kit. It's a lot easier. But uh, so this is it. Um, now, what I did was you can't buy this. I mean, you can buy the pouch. You can't buy what's inside um, in one kit. I bought all different pieces from all over the place and made the kit. Uh, you know, for what I wanted. So, you know about Maxpedition's products. I don't want to go into the specs. It has the Molly webbing. It has the YKK zippers and the carry handles, the D-rings, all that other good stuff. It's not what this video is about. What this video is about is how and what I have inside this amazing, amazing kit. Now, this kit it does have like the drawstring so either it can open up like this open up like this or fully clamshell open um i guess for the video we can just leave it like that but all right so one of the things i have inside which you saw was just sitting there it's a swat tourniquet so not only do i have this in my edc pack uh readily available but i also have a uh, cat tourniquet um also that I, you know, EDC in my backpack. I am getting a, um, a better case for this. This is just how it came in a Ziploc bag, but I'm going to uh, be upgrading that. So I'm going to go over everything. I'm not going to really pull everything out, but it's important, guys, uh, from the research I did to have on you medications for uh, part of your medical kit. You know, um, not prescription stuff, of course, but Tylenol uh, for if somebody's pain, aspirin if somebody's having a heart attack. Um, so in this kit, I have all little packs and stuff like that. Also, in my other um, pouch, which is another review of all my medications that I keep with me and update every you know, a few months and years when they expire. It's very important to keep track of expiration dates um, because you don't want to obviously give somebody medicine that's, uh, you know, out of date. But anyway, so in here we have a little ibuprofen. We have all different sizes, as you can see here, all different size band-aids, bandages, ace bandages, gauze i have a ton of gauze back here as you can see i don't really want to pull everything out guys only because everything's packed in here nice and neat but here's all different size gauze because you never know what type of trauma you're going to encounter is it a scrape from one of your kids falling or did you roll up on a fight did you roll up on a gunshot wound whatever you don't know um i found you know a little cheap you know, I don't have any, you know, high-tech medical equipment in here. There's no reason for it. Uh, basically, my kit is to help out before, minutes before ambulance gets there. So hopefully, you know, I could save someone's life, which would make my, my year. Um, so in here, we have more. Um, we have, like, uh, antiseptic wipes and all the uh, good stuff to clean out wounds here's some alcohol pads and stuff like that some q-tips uh some more rolls of gauze as you can see here this has a really cool back zipper over here and i don't even remember okay no i do remember now uh i have gloves i have now these are tongue depressors but you know obviously i'm not going to be checking somebody for a sore throat but i guess use this for a splint or something like that which brings me to my next find um zulco zulco 
uh, padded aluminum splint. This is hard as a rock. It looks soft, but it's not. So if you do break a bone, you can wrap this around the arm, leg, wherever, and it'll hold it still. So again, you guys are probably thinking maybe, oh, this guy's crazy. He EDCs all this stuff. Yeah, I do. It's light. You know, it's no big deal to have around. And why not, you know? Um, back here, I have oval eye patches. I have... Um, not only um, hand warmers and stuff in case when somebody goes through a trauma, they can tend to get cold. So I have some hand warmers. Maybe I can wrap them up in a blanket with that to keep them warm. Also, a cold pack. You just squeeze this in your hand a few times and it instantly starts to get cold. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, had a phone call come in and shut the video off i gotta get myself a dedicated youtube camera that's my next expense but anyway so i'll edit it together um so basically that's it guys i mean like i said it's a it's not a major trauma kit you know if somebody god forbid loses a limb i mean i can definitely help with the tourniquet and stuff like that but you know this is something to help out um in a jiffy if somebody needs some you know minor or mid to minor or serious or however you want to say it uh first aid when if they need it i am ready um it's important to have you know all the different types of bandages because sometimes you know if you have a little wound you don't want to put a big uh, six by nine uh gauze pad on it and vice versa if you have a big wound you don't want to put a whole bunch of little uh you know toe bandages on a, a wound that's oozing and falling apart on you so that's really it guys with you know my 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 first aid kit i i can't see beating it to death and making a 30 minute video about first aid kits and what should be inside but you know you have your bandages your splints your gauze your um medications sterile pads antiseptic stuff gloves of course because you don't want to spread germs and really that's it i mean that's that's basically what my kit um you know is built from it that that's really it it closes up beautifully like this and like i said i don't have a, a scale to measure light items but if i had to guess this bad boy's coming in at around a pound i mean it's not even i don't think but uh between this this and this i'm pretty much prepared you know um to help either loved ones or you know a stranger out in uh in the blink of an eye um also something i'm not a paramedic or anything but i do remember when i watched the video on how to apply this uh it's very important it comes with a little area you can write on it's very important to put the time that a tourniquet was applied uh, for the paramedics, EMS always want to know that because I think after a certain amount of time period, uh, the limb will probably be dead and won't be able to be saved. So they want to know the time that uh, it was applied. So uh, keep that in mind if you're ever going to uh, you know, apply a cat or rat tourniquet. So that is about it, guys, for this video. I was dying to show you this. Um, of course, you can get this pack in, you know, khaki uh black i think the foliage green i wanted red because red is you know medical and then i put the little van quest um sign on here that glows in the dark so if somebody opens my pack if i'm hurt and i can't speak they'll grab this and say okay this has got to be a medical kit um so that's it guys i got a bunch more videos coming out well uh actually today is sunday so happy sunday fun day gun day um, and as you can see, my shirt here, God, guns and Trump. If I don't want to talk political because I don't want to upset anybody, but uh, everybody has their own views and entitled to them. So um, that's about it, guys. Stay tuned. The next video you're going to see uh, after this one gets posted is, I've been promising you it, my Maxpedition EDC pack. Now this about two and a half pounds this stays with this kit along with my medication pouch in my backpack at all times and goes everywhere with me 
I'm going to give you the breakdown on this. There's a lot of good stuff in here. You can see how thick this bad boy is. And again, this isn't to, you know, build a house. It's just little things to have with me that makes either my life a little easier or I'll be able to help somebody else out. So stay tuned. That's coming up next. As always, guys, stay safe, stay cleaned, uh, and be kind to one another. EDCDB is out.